One moment my life collapsed. The girl I loved left me during the most difficult period. When my business went bankrupt, after these events, my life started to go downhill. I began to console myself with alcohol and once, in a state of intoxication, decided to commit suicide by drowning myself. But fate offered me a chance for salvation in an unexpected form. When I approached the water, I heard a squeak. Looking closer, I saw a small puppy struggling for life in the water. I rushed into the water and rescued him. Coming out of the water, I felt cold. It was already deep fall outside. The alcohol quickly drained out of me and I began to shiver. The puppy was shivering even more, having spent more time in the water. I cradled him against me, and we walked home. Home I got some milk, found some bread, and fed the puppy. There was a locket around his neck, but it didn't have any information in it. At night I put the puppy next to me in bed to keep him warm. In the morning the puppy refused to eat. He kept shivering and his eyes opened with difficulty. Well, no, my friend, that's not the way it's going to work. I'm going to take you to the clinic. You're strong, and you took a beating yesterday, but you'll get through it, I told him. I wrapped him in a blanket and took him to the clinic. There was a young veterinarian working there who examined the puppy and chided me. Your puppy has a fever. How could you let that happen? It's cold outside right now, she said. I told her the whole story and she softened. Will you give the puppy to the shelter? She asked. No, of course not. That puppy saved my life. He's my friend, I replied. She laughed and said that there was no telling who had saved whose life. Her words warmed me. Did you notice that your puppy has a locket around his neck? She asked. I nodded and replied that the locket was empty. She prescribed medication for the puppy and promised to come by after work to check on him. That promise made me very happy. I began to take care of my little companion, who in turn helped me to stop drinking. He intuitively sensed my moments of despondency and found ways to distract me. Visits to the vet kept both me and the puppy happy. Gradually, life began to get better. The puppy recovered and I had to find a job. There was a cafe not far from my house that was looking for a waiter. I had little experience in this field, so I applied and was hired. One evening, an hour before closing time, an elderly man came into the cafe. The staff told me that he came here every year. He used to come with his wife, but she died five years ago and now he comes alone. I went over to serve him. I was very tired and wanted him to leave sooner. As I brought his order, I noticed a locket around his neck similar to the one my puppy had. I waited until the man had finished eating and turned to him. Please have a moment of your time. I recently found a puppy with the same locket around his neck, but the locket was empty. Can you tell me where they sell medallions like that? Maybe I can go there, show the medallion and learn something about the owners of this puppy. At that moment, the elderly man clutched his heart. I got scared brought him some water to drink his medicine. I wanted to call an ambulance, but the man refused, saying he was already better. Please tell me, he turned to me, is the puppy all right? I nodded affirmatively. What time do you finish work? Can I wait for you? I'd like to talk to you about the puppy. You're the last customer. If you'll wait for me for a few minutes while I change, we can talk, I replied. He happily agreed. I was very worried that the older man would take the puppy away from me, because it was clear that it was his puppy, but I couldn't resist it. I wanted to know why the puppy was in the water. When I got off work, the old man was waiting for me. We went to his car, which was parked nearby. As we got into the car, he offered to tell me a story, to which I agreed. A long time ago, I met a girl in this cafe where you work. I was young then. We started dating. We were poor at the time, and my only gift to her was a locket. It was simple, no engravings. But my wife treasured that gift very much and never took it off. Even when we supported ourselves and I could give her expensive gifts, she still wore the locket. We had no children, I could not have any. But my beloved wife did not leave me, she stayed with me, for which I was very grateful. In time we got a dog, which we named Venji. It was a real baby for my wife. 
I couldn't give her much time because of work, so she had our Benji with her. They loved each other madly, but five years ago, my wife got cancer. When we found out, it was too late. The disease was already at stage four. She endured the agony, and before she died, she left this locket for the dog. Benji lived with me for five years. He missed my wife very much. He missed me. He died recently, but he left behind a puppy. I gave him away for breeding. Benji was a very smart and beautiful dog, and people wanted good puppies. And one such puppy I took for myself, I couldn't stay alone. I put the medallion that Benji had around his neck. A month ago, we went for a walk with him, and I don't know how, but the puppy broke out of my arms and ran away. I looked for him, but my search was unsuccessful. I was heartbroken and decided to make a copy of the medallion as a keepsake, the elderly man said. I was moved by his story and decided to give him the puppy. We went to my house. I took the puppy out. It was very painful to part with him, but I could not leave the elderly man alone with his grief. I told him how the puppy came to be in my possession. We did not think about how the puppy ended up in the water. The main thing was that he was alive. Please can I see the puppy sometimes, I told him. Of course, of course, he answered me. I began to go and visit the puppy. Then an elderly man invited me to his workplace and offered me a good position. I got a great job. The puppy I rescued that fateful night was not only a reason to change my life, but also a bridge to a new love. I proposed to my doctor girlfriend. Our lives began to be built on understanding and caring for both myself, an older man, and of course, the puppy.